What's up everybody? It is that time of the season where we get to take a little look at Liverpool's new kit for the upcoming 2022-23 campaign. Obviously brought to you by Nike or the manufacturers of our kits at present. And you can see it there on Luis Diaz. I mean initial impressions are it's red. That's a good start as it should be. It's not really very offensive. It's pretty inoffensive, actually, if I'm being honest with you. Um, you look, the devil is in the detail with these shirts, as always. And on first impressions you're looking at, it looks like just a plain red shirt with a little bit of white on it and the standard chartered logos. But as you'll see when I start to go through them a little bit, there are more details to be uncovered when you look around the shirt. Uh, let's start with the cut of the collar. Uh, reminds me of the 05 shirt, if my memory is correct, the Reebok one. Um, similar type of cut to the collar, and I always found that shirt just a little bit of, un uncomfortable around the clavicle, around around the collarbone, that kind of area. It could be just because I'm a little bit chunky, maybe. Uh, I'm certainly no, no Jordan Henderson there, or, or no Luis Diaz, who looked magnificent in the shirt, but... Look, there's a little bit of ribbing as well around the uh, the cuff at the bottom of the sleeve. A darker tone of red, which you'll also find on the back of the shirt. But all in all, so far, it's looking okay. You know, not, not really provoking too much of emotion for me. It's red. That's good. I like the tone of red. Not too bad at all. Uh, moving on to the next one, as you can see, Bobby rocking it there as well. You see a bit more of a bit more of a pronounced rib there around the arm, as I was saying a second ago in this image with Bobby wearing it. But look, it's hard to look at the kit when you're looking at Bobby because his smile's just infectious, isn't it? It just makes us all want to smile. And uh, we move on though a little bit, and this is the part that really stood out to me, my friends. I have to say. I love this. I absolutely love it. Now, I'm normally someone, and look, I don't really get names and numbers on shirts, but if I did, I would usually try and get the club's ones because over the years, I think the club's numbering and lettering have been, I think they've been much better than the Premier League ones. And they've knocked it out of the park this year with the numbering and the, the, the letters. It's, uh, it's class. That's all I can say. I mean, whatever you think about the shirt, and it is up to your own opinion, that numbering and lettering is absolutely top notch. My favourite one I think the club have ever brought out. Um, as you can see there in the back of the shirt as well, you've got a little bit of that darker red um, just up around the shoulder areas as well. You've got obviously the, the Expedia branding on the arm, who are the shirt sleeve sponsors. Standard charted on the front, but as always, I'm going to know what you guys are thinking about it. Are you going to spend your money on it? As I said, I think it's about about €87. Euro. I'm not sure what that equates to in pounds, maybe about 70 maybe 72 something like that. Uh, for the Liverpool Stadium shirt, which is the fan version of the shirt. If you want the player version, again, when I was on the site earlier, I'm fairly sure it was about €125 Euro there or thereabouts. Now you can start to see a bit more of the detail in it there with, with this image of Virgil van Dijk. You can see that it's not just a plain red shirt. There is actually designs built into it. And that's why I always say it's much better to, to look at these things in person rather than you know, just look at images of them and go, oh, this, I don't like this or I do like that. Often the devil is in the detail. And, you know, one thing I always look for with any shirt is I want the, the Liver Bird and I want the Nike tick to be embroidered on a shirt. Nothing worse and nothing cheaper than when you have a, a sticky sticker on the shirt. Like not, not an embroidered badge, you know, just just somebody. It just doesn't feel like anyone cared about the shirt if it's not embroidered. To me, it could be different for other people. I always just enjoy the embroidery on the shirts and I think it just gives it a slightly better feel. Uh, moving on here. Again, you can see a pretty straight on version of the shirt and to there you can you can't really notice the uh the design on the shirt too much but again it's red it's liverpool um and i don't mind it i don't mind it one bit i don't know if i'll go out and spend my money on it because you know i'm getting i'm 40 years of age now maybe my days of buying shirts are behind me but certainly would uh i think again as the entire kit it's going to look pretty smart, but right there is that shirt. Would you wear that with a pair of shorts in the summer? Would you wear that in your holidays? Yeah, you probably would. It's um, it's it's, it's not a bad shirt. It's not marvellous. It's not going to be up there as one of the greatest Liverpool shirts of all time, I don't think, unless unless there's a, another quadruple. Or I say another. I'm, I'm preempting that. Unless there's a possible quadruple maybe in it, but we keep looking on. There he is. Look, there's a few of the guys. There, look at Allison's kit. Now that's one that's standing out. That's a bit of Chris Donage right there, by the way. That that goalkeeper's kit, and I'm not even just guessing at that. Chris has already let us know he loves it. And let's be honest, Allison Becker could wear a tea towel. He'd still look magnificent. But I'm liking it. I'm liking the color tone of the goalkeeper's kit. I think it um, it's different. It's very different, and. I like it. Now, I'm sure, as always, there are going to be boffins out there who are far more knowledgeable and sure details than I that will be able to tell me if this design has just been a copy and paste, if other goalkeeper kits or the Liverpool kit has been rolled out across other Nike clubs previously. I hope that's not the case. You know, we do like a little bit of uh, individualism with our Liverpool shirts, but right there, 
yeah, it's looking good to me. It's looking good. And then we're back to Luis Diaz, the magnificent man there. What a signing he's been. But look, let me know. Are you going to be spending your money on it? Will you be buying it for the kids? Will you be treating your missus to one? Will she be treating you to one? Either way, is your money going to go on the Liverpool shirt? Please do let us know. I think, look, it's a decent effort, this, by the club. Um, Not by the club, by Nike, I should say. I wasn't... I wasn't overly gone on this season's particular home shirt. It was okay, again. I didn't really understand the, the green on the back of the collar and stuff. That was kind of the bit that put me off. But I still bought it. You know, still wore it with pride, as I'm sure you guys did as well, and will. But I'm intrigued to see what the, the, the collection of kits, you know, comes out to this season. We've got the home shirt now. I would imagine maybe six weeks or so, we'll probably get the away shirt. And then, you know, August, usually, I think it is, when the third shirt comes out. If you're looking at the leaked designs of the other shirts, I think we're in for a treat with the next two shirts to come. Uh, as always with this, there will be, I'm sure, a new training range and all that that will come out. And that's one thing I've got to give Nike actually a lot of credit for, is there's a huge selection these days of Liverpool kits for people to buy. Training kits, tops, you know, you can see that as a good thing or a bad thing. I'm not here to judge, but I do like the choice. I do like the fact that, you know, if the home shirt isn't for you, maybe a training polo shirt, training jersey, lots of stuff out there. But yeah, it's look... It'd be nice to see it, the whole kit with the lads out there. We'll have a quick run through them again. Hand out looking magnificent. Look at that. The boys have pearly smiles. Give them that one. You know, look at them, Bobby, as well. So, yeah, it'd be nice to see it when... That's class. I can't go past the letter room, by the way. I have to stop and have a little look again. I don't know if it's a 3D effect or, or what it is, but, again, I think whoever designed the name and numbers for the club this season has absolutely knocked it out of the park and... You know, I won't lie, that might be the deciding factor of whether I certainly get one for my little man, my little son or not. Um, I think the deciding factor might be that letter and I think I might have to get it from because even looking at Lewis Diaz 23, I want to see my young lad in the back garden running around kicking a ball wearing a Lewis Diaz 23 shirt with that letter on it. So, look, that's where I stand on the new shirt, my friends. And I look, again, get it in more detail as we get to see the shirt, touch the shirt, feel the shirt. But will you be spending your money on it? How do you rank Nike so far with the kits that they've released for Liverpool Football Club? I know there's always constant debate about whether you preferred New Balance, whether you would have rather go back to Adidas. We are with Nike right now. Um, and again, I think I'm not overly going on the price structure. If I'm being really honest with you, I think football fans are, are pressed enough financially these days. And I know that nobody's forced to buy a shirt, but we all know kids playing with their friends, stuff like that. They like to wear the ladies' shirts. Um so what will you be doing? Will you be buying it? Will you legit be buying it from the club? Would you be buying it somewhere else if it was cheaper? I'm intrigued to see what people's spending habits are. What we do know with Liverpool's deal with Nike is 30% of all uh, Nike branded merchandise that has Liverpool crest on it does go back into the football club. That's part of the deal that they have with Nike. So happy from that perspective. But for me, if I was to rank it at a 10, 6, 6 out of 10, doesn't really make me doesn't really make me anything to be honest with you it, it's just there but the numbering and the lettering i think is top notch so look with that being said my friends it is uh it's nice to know what the lads will be wearing next season and i look forward to to jürgen's boys out there and hopefully another uh fantastic campaign ahead and who knows we could be looking back in this shirt in a few years time and thinking that's the shirt that we won our 20 21st league title or eighth european cup or a seventh european cup who knows but hopefully it's going to give us many great memories as well. So look, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you real soon. Take care.